What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Just changing my mic here, two sex. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys are good. We did have the re-release of all of these uh, epic players. So we had Inter AC and Barca. And we also do have, which this video is about, the Italian national team selection, Deluxe. That's like International Superstar Soccer Deluxe. Remember that back in the day. But anyway, look, we, dis we do have this Italian pack. We had the Turkish pack, the Indonesian, Malaysian and Thailand pack. Um, we will be getting new player transfers in six days. Um, or not player transfers, but a new nominating contract, one in six days. So if you do have nominating contracts, hold on to that. But yeah, for this one, we are going to be focusing on the Italian national team pack. And we're going to be going over to eFootballDB.com in a couple of minutes and checking out the players on Max Form and stuff like that. A couple of players here that I definitely think are going to be huge over the next couple of weeks. Um, I mean, I keep repeating it in every video and it's mostly for the newcomers now, but there are like a lot of options on the GP market. There is no kind of like, you know, player that is unequal. Like, obviously I would say that the players that are kind of like you, that nobody compares to them in my personal opinion would be Romario. Uh, I would say Beckenbauer and I would probably say Mbappe just for his pure stats that you can actually train him up whatever way that you want to train him. But everybody else there, like you're looking at Donnarumma here, right? He's 86 overall. He's got 21 levels. You've got a lot of other goalkeepers that you can boost up and max out. They're not going to be as good as Donna because I think Donnarumma is the best keeper in the game personally. But you've got like a lot there. You've got Oblak. You've got Ramsdale for cheap. You've got... Um, Courtois who's really good you've got Mendy who's actually quite decent as well you've got uh Mignan, who plays for AC Milan you've got a lot of keepers there that can do a job for you and that's not even mentioned the legends right but for this pack I do think that there is probably five standout players so we are going to start at the bottom with Cristante who is a DMF um again the big thing with these players is that they do have 90 team play style proficiency in everything now this guy only has standard form and he is on c rating and he's kind of a run-of-the-mill uh dmf i mean he doesn't have amazing stats and he's not going to be able to like boost up that much because his defensive awareness and tackling and stuff yeah you can boost that up into the 80s but you're going to have to miss out then on either speed and acceleration which be make you cover the pitch a bit better um or else dribbling or passing so yeah i mean you can have a mid 80s for passing and uh defensive uh, but other than that, you're not going to be able to boost him up anything else. So I think for that, this is what I'm talking about. There's a lot of DMFs that you could buy that will be outperforming Cristante, including Barrios, who's about 50 or 60,000 GP for free. So you don't even need to spin. Next up, we do have Mancini, who is a center back. Now, this guy isn't bad. He's got some nice player skills, interception and blocker. They're the two that you really need. He does have standard form, but he's on B rating. And this guy is not bad at all. He's got some nice ability. He's only got 19 levels. I would have liked to uh, seen this guy have maybe 25 levels because it would have boosted up his car to make him a little bit more OP. Um, and just being able to kind of, I don't know, just being able to, like he does have a nice height. He does have nice defensive stats from a base stat rate. Like he's got 79 aggression straight off the rip. He's also got 71 loft to pass and 70 speed. So he's off to a good flyer, especially with the jumping and the heading as well. That's kind of what you're going to be getting him for here. But again, he's not going to be somebody that really changes the dial for you. If you are a newcomer to the game, I would say definitely check out some of my hidden gem series and definitely, you know, do get a really decent center back. There's a lot of good center backs for like 120,000 GP or so. If you are looking for a top class center back, that will last you until eFootball 2024, um, being honest with you. So we are going to take a look at these three boys in just a second. We're going to take a look at them over on eFootball DB. But we do have Politano here as well. He's having a good season at the moment, as far as I know, unless I'm confusing him with another player. But yeah, really good winger. Um, he's obviously a small base player, so he's going to be tricky to stop if you are used to playing with smaller base players with the dribbling and that. This is a guy that might interest me, apart from his form. He's got insane player, sc player skills, and he does have that all important super sub so if you're going to be bringing him on um you will be bringing him on in the second half for that you know a boost to your squad and hopefully be able to 
um, you know, get a goal or get a get back into the game. He also does have pinpoint crossing, which is really good, as well as a lot of dribble stats uh, and dribble player skills that are really, really nice. His speed and acceleration is good. His dribbling is good. His passing is good. His balance is good. Everything is fairly good with 25 levels to go as well. Uh, Benucci, we will take a look at him as well. So Benucci is going to be, yeah, look, you are going to get what you get there. Um, I think he's going to be somebody that, again, you you are going to be looking at him in a way that Benucci is going to be kind of a throwback to um, what you get when you get like a, a, a top class defender that's not that fast. Now, he can still do a job for you because the defensive awareness is a hugely important stat. Um, and he'll be able to catch faster defenders simply because the game is balanced that way with the defensive awareness that you're able to react to the ball better. So when you get the ball in your dribble before you get into your full stride, a center back that's a little bit slower can actually, you know, cut the gap a little bit. Now, you can still be burned for pace if you actually get ahead of him. But, you you know, it is a little bit less... Um, it is, it, is, it is kind of a little bit less that like if you get a run on a, on a slow center half that you're just completely like left in the dust. So yeah, the rest of his stats are really good. We will take a closer look at Benucci in a little bit as well. And then we've got Tonali as well. Uh, again, we don't... Yeah, I mean, Tonali is somebody that he's kind of frustrating because he's just, I think, just a couple of player skills and a couple of stats away, especially this card, away from being top tier. Like, because I love playing with him. I have him on my other account, my Xbox. Um, and just being able to spray the ball around with him is such a joy compared to, obviously, I have Vieira on my main uh, PS5 account. And Vieira is just a stopper, man. You're not going to be hitting, you know, Pirlo S, Kevin De Bruyne style cr uh, passes or crosses with Vieira or Makalele. They're stoppers, they're disruptors, you know, destroyers, anchormen. Whereas Tenali is an anchorman, but his passing is exquisite. So if you are a pass-based player, he definitely will find a home in your team. Pellegrini, we have Pellegrini here as well as an AMF in the hole. And he's got some nice stats as well. I definitely would recommend him because he's got unwavering form, which is always good. One touch pass, true pass and way to pass, pinpoint cross and no look pass and rising shot as well as low lofted pass. So the only thing he doesn't really have here is any kind of like on the ball dribbling player skills but his dribbling stats are quite decent so that's a bit of an oversight i think because i definitely would have given him maybe a chop or a turn um he does have heel trick i suppose so that is that is one way of looking at it but yeah everything else i think is fairly decent he has captaincy as well he's he's fairly tall for an amf as well so he'd be able to kind of play i would say a little bit um differently than your usual amf such as maybe neymar or somebody that you're playing there but yeah, I mean, Pellegrini is going to be a good player to get as well, especially if you are an Italian fan. Um, he will be fairly decent. He's got 30 levels to go as well, which is quite good. I'll be honest with you. It is quite good. And then last but not least, we have Bastoni. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not covering Bastoni too much because there's been a lot of cards out for him. Actually, I will cover him. I will cover him on eFootballDB as well, um, and we'll get a look at him. So we are going to go over to eFootballDB.com now and see these players all maxed out. All right, so we're over on eFootballDB.com. We're going to take a look at Bastoni, who maxes out at a 95 overall. That's going to go up to, yeah, 97 overall when he has a team play style. So he is a seriously, seriously overpowered player. And he is a good player. I mean, he had a 94 version of his card there, where you see there. He had a 94 card version player of the week, which was quite decent. His standard card goes 29 levels. But yeah, this card is going to be really, really good. He's also got interception. He doesn't have blocker, which kind of holds him back from having everything here. Um, but again, he's got a nice height, nice play style, nice speed. Um, I think his dribbling is fine. His tight possession is fine. His low pass is actually quite good. His header is quite good. Everything is good defensively. His form is unwavering. So yeah, he is actually a really good player when I look at him that way. Um, he looks like a beast, actually. And comparing him to Benucci, they're very similar. They both have 90 uh, in defensive awareness. Benucci's a little bit better in heading. And obviously, he's not as fast. So it's kind of pick your poison with the two of them, except Benucci has not got unwavering form, which is a small bit of a pity. I think he's been one of Italy's most consistent players. I mean, forever, it seems. Lacatelli, Locatelli, we have him as well. Um, we can max him out here. So again, this guy's got 24 levels, which gives you 46 progression points. Again, just boost in a couple of his dribbling, maybe four because it only takes one each. I would say boost up his acceleration and his his um, his pace to that. 
and then maybe that to the to 80 as well and then it's just pick your poison as to whatever you want to do i would usually probably have yeah depending on where you're going to be playing him we can do a lot of different things there we can boost up his defense or boost up his passing a little bit more than that if you guys want but yeah as a DMF, I mean, he's not going to be somebody as good as Vieira, but he definitely will do a job for you. And Mobley, this guy gets a bad rap, lads, but he has got insane stats when you boost him up. Like, genuinely insane stats, right? His dribbling, yeah, leaves a lot to be desired. You have to boost that up a good bit. But in terms of his shooting, you can get his shooting up to, like, 92 very easily. And then, obviously, it's just about his pace, you know, as a striker. Get that up and get that up. Obviously, his ball control is fairly decent. But to be honest with you, I think even 88 shooting is, or, you know, whatever, is going to be enough. That's kind of what I would have most of my strikers at, maybe 88, 89. And then I would just be talking about maybe getting his that speed up a little bit more uh, just to be able to get his balance up. That's kind of where I would focus the progression points on. Is there better center forwards there? Yeah, by a mile. Like, there's a lot of players there that you can buy um you know even uh david from lille that guy david from lille like he's he's got better stats than him omishin at uh, napoli's got better stats than him would be a better player than him abamiang at chelsea is better than him i would say but if you do end up getting him yeah he definitely is worth a punt and see what he's like because he does have nice uh, ball control and nice finishing and he is fairly consistent in front of goal as well last but not least we have borella and uh, donnarumma we'll get to in a second but borella again this guy is fast becoming one of everybody's favorite and most used players in the game lads genuinely every time i see him now he's either on the bench or he's playing and if you look at his stats it's no it's no uh it's no real mystery as to why right so as is dmf i mean he's got re or a cmf he's got really nice defensive stats without even touching them now i would probably if it was me i would probably boost up the four there because you're not going to get massive bang for your buck and any of the other stats is going to take too much. I wouldn't put anything into shooting. I would just probably um, decide whether you wanted to be kind of like a run and gun and put it into speed. Um, or else you could pump another one into defense if you wanted as well. But again, this guy looks absolutely insane. This card looks really, really good. He did have a 95 overall player of the week card. Whereas there's more of a focus on defense. Um in, instead of i think he had the same speed but yeah there's more of a focus on defense rather than passing so we could do that as well if you wanted you could take two off there and you could put two into defense um it depends on how you want to train him up you're going to have a very similar player then like it's practically identical apart from the the dribbling um but yeah they're identical cards really and then last but not least we have my main man donna he is on d form again this week which is a pity um but yeah it's uh he's he's the best keeper in the game for me lads i've used pretty much every keeper in the game uh multi you know by five six games i've used courtois five six games the gay ter stegen ter stegen's decent uh courtois really decent as well nair is decent but yeah i don't trust any of them compared to donnarumma and this is probably one of his better versions as well he does have his standard card as well which goes 26 levels this goes 21 levels but you know you're just about kind of like balanced out i think enough um with the two cards i think the reflexes is where i'd put most of the cards stuff there the stats so yeah that is it for me lads i will be back quite soon with another episode of these um player reviews that is the italian national team deluxe selection um yeah extravaganza so that is it for me lads i will talk to you later let me know if you spin or skip peace